Hey everyone, Tracy here. In TradingView, there are two types of indicators. There's the built-in indicators, and then there are the user-provided scripts. In today's video, I wanna show you how you can add a script to your chart. Let's take a look. All right, let's add a custom script to a TradingView chart. First option you have is to go up into the middle of the chart, look for that FX indicator strategy button, click on it, and then type the type of uh, indicator that you're looking for. So for example, moving average. If I type in a moving average, and then what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down till it says public library. And anything below that's under the public library is all user created scripts. So these were written by people like yourself and myself, and then submitted for all of us to use. Select the, the uh, indicator that you're looking for, and let's just go moving average here. And it is now on the chart. Now, one of the advantages that I wanna point out to doing it this way is, for example, you see that there's two moving averages right here. If you have a free account, you only have a limit of one indicator. Or even if you're using a, a higher, a paid version of TradingView, but you have too many indicators on your chart and you need to narrow them down, you can't add that extra one that you want. You can do that by utilizing some of those public scripts that that take uh, that combine multiple indicators into one, and this would be one of them where I, you can have two indicators, basically two moving averages in one indicator. So that's one of the advantages of it. Now, if you want to remove that script, just go up into the top left-hand corner and then click the X. Now, the other way that you can do it is uh, go back up into that FX button, indicators and strategies. You can also look under the public library and just scroll through and see something that's interesting to you, select it, and then go to your chart. Now, the other way that you can do it is top left-hand corner, there's three lines, select that. And what you wanna do is go down to the more section and then select scripts. When you get to this area here, go up into the search bar, bar and you have an app opportunity to either search for the script that you're looking for, or you can search for people. So let's say that you know the user that you wanna follow. Let's go uh, Matt DeLong, for example. Select the name, it's gonna take you to Matt's homepage. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit scripts, find the script that you're looking for. And let's use the trend following Momo, for example, click on it, scroll down, and then you're going to see an area right here. It's blue and it says add to favorites indicator. What you're gonna do is click on that. It'll change to remove from favorites indicator, which tells me that you've added it to the chart. You can then close that window out, go back to the chart that you have, that you wanna add it to, go back up into the FX indicators and strategies button. And then what you're gonna do is select favorites and you're gonna scroll down until you find the indicator that you just added. And here's the trend following Momo by Matt DeLong. We just added it there. Click on that. And then it's up in the left-hand corner. It's been added to the chart. If you wanna customize it, select it and then uh, select that gearbox, that settings button, click on it and gets you into the customization tools. All right, now, if you are interested in, let's say that you like this indicator and you want to find more that that particular user is using, you can also just go back into that indicator strategy button, find the indicator that you're using and then select their name from there. It'll take you directly to their homepage. And that's how you add a custom script to a chart. Remember to subscribe, like, and share if you found value in this video. Till next time.